The question is, do you think we have what it takes? Can we make this team? This is me asking a pro football player if I have what it takes to go pro. For the past four months, I've been training relentlessly with the goal of going pro without playing college football. And in this video, I asked four pros if I have what it takes to make their team. And we're going into these workouts with one goal in mind, winning their approval. And that all begins with our first workout. That's with Mike and David. What's up, Mike? What's up? Hey, look. What's up? We started this session with a thorough warm up to get our bodies ready for the intense workout ahead. If I want to win the approval of David and Mike, I need to make sure my body is warm so I can go crazy in this session. After the warm-up, we started the workout off with two drills. And the focus in these drills was bouncing and exploding out of our brakes. And your boy was feeling good in these workouts, so you already know I had to go crazy. Hey, Getting working, bro. This is what's gonna get us better, bro. You gotta keep doing these, man. Now these next two drills, we stepped up the intensity a bit by exploding out of our brakes and catching the football. And in these, the goal was to not drop any passes. That needs to go. I, I gotta start driving out. I'm punching my elbows, throwing my elbows back. Does that make sense? You see how your boy didn't drop any passes? We're starting off good. And it was now time for the fourth drill. And in this, we're working on getting off the press with a DB in front of us. Everything's so specific. Ball today, easy. We're not dropping nothing. After the drills, we went straight into routes on air. And the goal, once again, was to run these routes at full speed and not drop a single pass. Listen, y'all boys, there should be no reason we're dropping passes like this with no DB in front of us. So we gotta tighten up and limit these drops. The session is over and it's time to ask David and Mike the big question. Despite our four drops, we did pretty well this session. Well, I got a question to ask you, bro. It's good, it's We've good. been putting in work for months, getting ready for these trials in October. The question is, do you think we have what it takes? Can we make this team? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta believe in yourself. Always trust on what you, what you can do. Like all the outside noise. You know what you can do. They don't. You got that You got it. Mike, he played for the Cobra, so we about to ask him a big question. Do you think we have what it takes to play for this team? Yeah. I mean, anybody that has dedication and motivation and knowledge of the game can learn and pick up anything. You're not prideful. You, you're willing to learn. You're willing to listen to every little detail. And that's what truly makes somebody great. I appreciate you, man. We got some valuable answers from David and Mike. And it's time to continue our training and get a third and fourth opinion from Joe and Millie. For those of y'all that don't know Joe and Millie, I met them around last year and since then, these guys have changed my life. God brings people into our lives that will put you on a path you would have never expected. And in my life, these are those two men. Millie is my football trainer. I've been able to see an insane results since working out with him. And he's taken my football abilities to a whole nother level. He also plays for the pro football team I'm trying out for. And if it wasn't for getting work with him, I would have never known this route was even a possibility. 
possibility. Joe is also a pro football player. He spent some time in the NFL, but is now playing for the Arlington Renegades. Being surrounded by inspiring men like this have truly changed my life. And in this session, the goal is to win their approval. However, before we get into this session, I want to talk to y'all boys real quick. Now, y'all know on this journey how I've always told you guys everything and brought you into my circle, sharing everything that I've learned, not just from what I've done, but also advice from those who've also made it to where I'm trying to go. So if you're trying to speed up your progress on your journey, you're trying to be with other people who motivate you, I got just a thing for you. I have started my own brand new community called the Five Tribe. I'm here to help players like you get better and improve your game and take it to the next level. Inside this community, you'll get hours of exclusive training content, live coaching calls, access to pro trainers and players that'll help you hit those milestones you're trying to get to. Whether you're trying to get more play time on your high school football team or goal D1, or even making a pro football team. The goal of the Five Tribe is to light that fire inside of you and direct that energy into pursuing after your passion. So hit that first link in my bio and come join the Five Tribe. We kicked this session off with a warm up to get our bodies right. These workouts happened on separate days, but we needed to make sure we come just as prepared to this one. We then got ready to go straight into our first drill, where the focus was getting over these agility hurdles and working the top of our route. <laughs> And if you guys couldn't tell, the big focus in this session is detail. Working out with pros, I learned that's the number one thing to focus on at that level. Now that I'm trying to go pro, I have to adjust my mind to realize that I'm not going against high school guys or college guys anymore. I'm going against grown men with years of experience on me, which means every release, every break, and every catch matters. Now we're finished with a drill and I'm not gonna lie, your boy was exhausted. These drills were really testing if we can get in and out of our breaks and catch the football while tired. Damn. Oh. And after those drills we did, routes on air and finally the moment of truth, one-on-ones. -on if we want to impress Joe and Millie and get their approval, this is where we have to go crazy. And it all starts with the first rep. So you think eating his leverage is slowing your feet down or running as fast as you can get on his toes and break? Running as fast as I can on his toes and break it. There you go. By you doing this, you giving him time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys, I was sick to my stomach after those reps. Because I didn't lose those reps because of the DB, I lost them because of me. Now that DB is talented, but if I want to play at the next level, I can't be giving up reps like that. Get your hands on it. Go. 
finally a good rep. We had two other catches before this, but we were able to fight the DB on the top of the route and the QB fit the ball in nicely. Although I wasn't happy with how I was performing so far, I didn't want to give up and make sure I finished better than I started. <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought he was going to hey. In my mind, I don't like losing any one-on-one -on -one reps, and there's always room for improvement. And I was actually so mad at how I performed, I actually forgot to ask Joe and Millie the big question. But does that question really need to be asked? As you heard in the previous clip, they fully believe I can make this team. And although I didn't get to ask Joe on camera, I was able to ask Millie a few days later. All right, y'all boys, we just got done with a workout with our trainer, Millie, man. We got a question to ask him, bro. Millie, I got a question for you, man. Do you think we got what it takes to make this Cobra team? Y'all yes, no, no <laughs> seen it. We put in all this work in, man. It's all gonna pay off. Training for now, soon to be teammates. <laughs> uh -oh. He said he showed me no mercy on the field too. <laughs> well, y'all heard it from Millie, man. We have not been doing all this training for no reason. We've been training to go pro for almost five months now. And in this video right here, I go through my goals, mindset, and training through these four to five months. So if you want to hear all of that and the reason we decided to make this move, click this video right here. I appreciate y'all boys for watching and staying along with this journey. We're just getting started. I'll see y'all in the next one.